Good morning, my lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers, and channel fans. It is Lori, and I'm here to do your general reading for you. I hope all of you are happy, healthy, and having some fun, and that life is treating you well. All right, let's go ahead and roll the zodiac die, see what signs you might be dealing with, or what signs within your own birth chart are activated at this time. All right, my friends, you have just rolled uh, strong Pisces, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Whoop, whoop. There is a little bit of Taurus and Capricorn energy here. All right, but I will say the uh, Pisces, Gemini, and Aquarius is the strongest energy right now. Let's go ahead and do um, my personal spread here. We're going to see what your overall energy is for the day. What you need to know from spirit, uh, where spirit thinks it might be best for you to focus your energy or attention. We'll take a quick look at your relationships. We'll also um, look at your finances, money, career, hobbies, whatever is going on. And we'll get you the most likely outcome. There may be a word of advice from spirit at the end too. But we will definitely get you oracle messages. And I will roll the letter die. Um to bring out whatever comes forward uh, at the end there. Okay, let's go ahead and see what your energy for the day is going to be. What's your overall energy going to be? The Queen of Cups, sitting back I'm hearing in satisfaction, kind of just in a nostalgic mood, not, not, hmm. This is comfortable, this is peaceful, this is happy remembrances, okay? Of course, there's tinges of the people that we've lost and so on and so forth, but this overall is just those remembering the happy times, the good times, the good feelings. I can't, it's different things that has brought this on for each of you. I am hearing there may be a challenging situation for some of you here emotionally um, over the day, over the period of the day. I keep hearing push that crown back up. Okay, push straight that crown back up. You know who you are and you know that this does not have to ruin your whole day. All right, let's go ahead and see what spirit thinks you may need to know about the day. What is it that spirit believes you need to know? King of Pentacles. Somebody could be um, challenging you financially. Let me get another card here. So you may hear some sort of disappointing news about money. I'm getting that somebody took something of yours and they thought they could just like replace it, put it back. They may have taken money out of your wallet and said, oh, I can put it back before they know it's even gone. Or they took your car and figured, ah, no big deal. They'll never even know I took it. Um, except that they didn't get the money they were expecting. And or if it's about the car, and these are just examples, they got a flat tire and you found out that they had your car and now you've got to pay to get your tire fixed or something like that. So there could be a, a financial challenge here that you were not expecting, and that's not going to be for everyone, okay? Let's see what else comes out here with this King of Pentacles. We have the Page of Cups. Yes, yeah, somebody's going to apologize for something here. Somebody is going to come up with a creative way to say, oops, I, I messed up, okay? I don't think they do this all the time. They may have done it one or two times before this, which you would think that they'd learn their lesson and not do this kind of thing. But it may be that you let them get away with it in the past so they don't really see that it's an issue. All right, so Spirit is saying uh, there may be a financial challenge coming here, and I don't get a big one, okay, no, especially with the Page of Cups, and as young as this page is, I feel like it's a very small financial issue, 
okay? Now, some of you, when you first hear it, you may be like, oh my gosh, what the heck? And you think that it's going to be really, really big. I don't think it is. I'm hearing that it's not going to be as big as you. You know, we always blow things up in our head a lot bigger than they actually are. We imagine them to be much bigger than they are. All right, so I do find, see, I do hear that you find a solution to this, okay? You're going to work with whoever this is. They're going to work it off. They're going to pay it back. Um, they are trying to come up with a creative way to approach you about this, but also that a, a way for them to fix it, okay? How can they pay for this? All right, let's see where Spirit thinks it would be best if you focused your attention here. Now, obviously, these... Um, scenarios that I'm giving you here are just that. They're scenarios. That doesn't mean that's exactly what's happening for you, okay? So think about what's happening in your life, who you're dealing with, and see if that resonates. If it doesn't, don't take on somebody else's issues, all right? That King of Pentacles and Page of Cups could mean something completely different for you. All right, let's go ahead and see where Spirit thinks it would be um, most advantageous for you to focus your attention. All right, we've got the Queen of Wands who comes out in every single one of your readings like the Hanged Man energy does. And we also have the Ace of Wands. So there's some sort of decision here. It, it, it's just like you don't even have to think about the decision. You know exactly what to do. You know how to take charge of the situation and move forward, okay? So you're just going to be charismatic. You're going to be graceful, um, loyal. You're going to be like, okay, this happened. Let's just keep moving forward. We're not going to let this hold us back. Again, that emotional energy for the day, okay? I keep hearing, and I couldn't figure out why I kept hearing this um, until now. I really wish... It could go back to the way it was. And somebody here is like, they've got like a 20-something living in the house. <laughs> and you're wishing that they didn't have a license, that they were still young enough that you could kind of maintain the situation. But it is what it is. So you're okay. You're okay. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at your relationships. This could be within your family, your friends, your romances, with your neighbors, with the... Uh, doctor, you know, whoever, whatever relationship is on your mind the most at this time, or that you need to know something about. Let's see if there's anything you need to know going on here. Yeah, there is some sort of fear. Something is keeping you, <laughs> something's keeping a, uh, some of you awake. Uh, it could be trying to figure out how to resolve this so that this person does not do this again or just trying to figure, find a solution. You will find the solution, but it's keeping you up. It's like, ah, I need this nightmare to end. I need this to stop happening. And you only really feel that desperate when you go to lay down at night and your mind wants to shut off, and yet it brings up all these things that you have to deal with, and you're just like, oh. All right, so now some of you are in a situation where you're afraid that somebody's going to walk out on you, okay? And you are focused on all the good memories that you have here, all the good times you've had. And unfortunately, that, that may be a problem of you focusing on just the good, don't do that. Remember the negative situations, too, so that you're keeping a balanced and realistic view of the situation, the relationship. All right, let's see what else is going to come out here with this Nine of Swords. What more can you tell us about our lovely, lovely Libras, cross watchers and channel fans, relationships? Oh, look at that beautiful Six of Swords. You're going to sail away. All of these worries are going to be flushed away, released, let go of. You're going to move forward gracefully, peacefully. I'm actually hearing there's going to be some sort of exciting um, upcoming event as you move away from the, this, um, these challenges that you're facing here. 
some sort of exciting event. Yeah, that's not going to be for everybody. I, I keep hearing like an unexpected growth spurt, um, graduation, understanding. But it's, it feels more like an actual event. Something is recognized by more than one person. Okay, so it could be that this, this person finally gets it. They finally get what they're doing is not good, not healthy, and they find out, um, yeah, so there's going to be some sort of event. But whatever's happening here in your relationships, smooth sailing. You're headed for smooth sailing. You're not going to be stressed with this Nine of Swords energy for long. All right, I'm actually hearing, because you have six swords below the Nine Swords, three swords were taken away. What is the Three of Swords? Heartbreak, pain, disappointment. All right, so that's all going to diminish. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and see what's happening in the field of finances, money, career, hobbies, investments. What's going on here? Anything that our lovelies need to be aware of? What have we got here for you? Oh, that was way too many cards trying. All right, we've got two cards here. We've got the Hermit, and we've got a very balanced Two of Pentacles here. Okay, so the Hermit, you find the path forward. You find the solution. Your finances, there's everything is clear cut. You're moving forward. You're making progress. I'm getting enlightenment with this too, like an aha, okay? But there's balance here. There is absolute balance. So like the books are balancing um, your energy towards your money. It's There may have been something, we know our economy is chaos right now. Nothing's making any sense. The numbers they're giving us don't make sense compared to what we're seeing for ourselves. You're not worried. You see that you have balance here, okay? And you're staying peaceful. You're staying cool, calm, and collected no matter what seems to be happening out there in the in the world okay you're not putting blinders on no you're just not letting it feel chaotic you know you have enough you know you have the answers you have a clear path here okay beautiful energy beautiful so your finances hobbies careers investments any of that there could be turmoil all around you. You may even have people telling you, what are you doing? What are you thinking? And you're like, I'm fine. I'm fine. Look at that. On the bottom of the deck <laughs> is the Eight of Pentacles. You're, you've been working on things. You've been working through things. That's Ten Pentacles right there. Eight plus the two where you're keeping the balance. So you are definitely heading towards um, very good uh, financial stability here. Yeah, no, I mean, I'm not seeing, for some of you, I'm not seeing a major growth, but you see a clear path. You're just going to keep going. It's going to be balanced. It's going to be, um, it's going to be the right choices. Okay. Now, yeah, I'm sorry. It sounded like somebody was standing on my front porch. All right, let's see what your outcome for this message is going to be. What a beautiful message this is. This is absolutely fantastic. Let's see what we have here for you. Oh my gosh. So your outcome is the Wheel of Fortune. This was destined to happen. You're going to have this day. There's a reason you're having the day the way you're having this day. The challenge, the nostalgia, the nightmares. Putting um, any difficulties, any disappointments, any heartbreak behind you. Your finances coming into balance. Okay. It's all meant to happen. This is all coming together at this time for a very specific reason. Okay. Wheel of Fortune there. And look, on the bottom of the deck, you have the Ace of Cups. A brand new start. An emotional cleansing. An emotional release. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Oh my gosh, and there's the Ten of Cups. I knew I felt it. I knew I felt that Ten of Cups. 
I'm not wearing my glasses, so I'm hoping that my camera is in focus when I do this. All right, so it looks like it's it has been. Okay. Ten of Cups, and there's that Eight of Pentacles again. You are working on this. You've been diligently putting the energy in, making healthy choices, making sure you get clarity and understanding and know exactly what it is. You've got double sevens right here, Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups. You have got um, a fortunate break, something lucky coming in here, especially with that uh, Wheel of Fortune right there. Beautiful message there. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So I hope you've enjoyed that portion of the message. Let's get you an angel number and oracle message here and see what else we can find out for you. This looks like a beautiful, I mean, it may not happen in one day, but it's your general reading too. Um, but still, I feel like most of you, this is going to be one day. And that's how up and down it may feel too. You may wake up and just be like, oh, everything feels so beautiful. Everything feels so right. And then immediately you're like, really? We got to start with that. <laughs> but you're not going to let it ruin your day. You're not going to let it ruin your day. You're keeping your focus. All right, let's see what the angel number oracle message is going to be here. Two, four, two, four, good times. And I do need my glasses to read this. It is about leisure, stepping back, resting, taking a holiday, a break from your day-to-day -day life. There is pleasure, love, affection, kindness, okay, that Queen of Wands, or yeah, Queen of Wands energy. When we act with kindness, we bring in happiness. Understand that you are worthy of affection, leisure, and pleasure. And if you talk to your family and friends about how you're feeling, this is crucial right here to resolving this situation, you will find that everybody is on the same page and you can work together effectively to find the solution to fix the problem. When you spread love, it finds its way back to you multiplied. 24, 24. So that's you, okay, six, and then the other person, the other energy, six. Balance, okay, six of this and a half a dozen of the other. Beautiful energy. All right, let's get you an oracle message here. I am hearing a small card spirit animal. Let's see what's going to come out here with the spirit animal oracle messages. Don't forget to tickle tap boopers at this. Uh, that like button, if this is resonating with you, if you want to claim it in the comments, please do. And again, feel free to share these awesome messages with those that you care about. All right, you just pulled the peacock card here. Vibrancy. You were born to shine and inspire others. Continue to practice humility so that you can avoid jealousy or envy. All right. Be grateful for life and more good things will come to you. Attitude of gratitude wins the day. Be true to yourself, okay? And recognize your own brilliance, your own talents, your own skill, your own vibration. Okay, beautiful message there. All right, we are going to get you, okay? Universal Folk Oracle message here. By Anita Inverarity. Anita Inverarity. We have protection, number eight. Okay. And this says, Armament, Strengthen, Boundaries, Aura. Okay, let's see what the book says about this. I don't know this one all that much. And the message that's coming through, hmm, seems different than what I was feeling earlier. Uh, the crystal associated with this card is hematite. Examine your boundaries and self-preservation. Strengthen your source through stillness and by expanding your auric field, okay? So high vibration. 
what's your frequency what's your vibration right now are you feeling confident are you feeling strong capable the girl in this card and her familiar approach the forest clearing to observe a protection ritual she wears a hood that's adorned with acorns and oak leaves and those give her strength there are co copper charms above her head and hematite stones in her pocket it is a wonderful practice to work on protective rituals from time to time, free from superstition or attachment to any belief system. Protection is represented here by the mighty oak and acorns along with the barrier of thistles and the energizing aura of the copper. Look into the old arts of herbalism and na nature lore to find talismans and elemental elements energies that resonate and help strengthen you okay rituals are things that we do over and over we count on them we don't have to do them every day a ritual like christmas is something we do once a year easter we do it once a year we can have um a protection spell okay a protection prayer that we have Whatever it is that raises our frequency, we can do that daily. I recommend that um, through meditation, okay? If our day starts off on a positive note, then we can face whatever comes our way. If we're in a low vibe as the day starts, that could just, if we don't know how to turn that around, it can just keep tr dragging us down, and we don't want that. All right, let's see what's going to come out with the letter die. All right, Richard, Rosemary, Riley, Raleigh, Ralita, Timothy. I keep hearing tamale, but I, it's not tamale. I'm saying it wrong, okay? So if you know the correct way to say it, phonetically, or do it, you know, put it in the comments. Uh, Tamara, Tucker, Keith. Uh, Diane, Darcy, Denise, Dennis, Dre, Macy, Matt, I heard Ruth, all right, Yvette, Yvonne, Jasmine, Suzanne, Susan, Stuart, Stella, Michael, Michaela, Tazia. I can't even see the letter die, just in case you're wondering here. Um, not that I ever really look at it. I look at it to get hear what I'm hearing. Um, Sarah, Larissa, Temmy, T-E-M-M-Y, Temmy, Lieutenant, Mac, Luke, Lily, Lisa, Issy, Isabella, Isaac, Ivan, Javon, Hillary, Hunter, Venus, Vows. Somebody's talking about their vows. Vera. Stephen. Laverne. Talia. Kentucky. There we go again. There's some connection between Kentucky. Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> okay <laughs> there's some connection between kentucky <laughs> and connecticut Kanucky. that's canuck canuck canadian somebody uh, maybe a ca canadian has something between connecticut and kentucky that's important for you okay so <laughs> Kanucky. 
um, Connecticut, uh, Tanya, Talisha, Tabitha, Latisha, Stuart, VJ, Ted, Theodore, Thad, Imogen, India, Irene, Iris, Sissy, Siri, Sizzle, Jazzy, Kermit, Carrie, Mike, MJ, Sojourn, JD, I heard Vidalia, Vidal, maybe, Vidal. All right, that's what I've got for you guys. I could keep going. There's so many names coming through here. Okay, Jay, Jerry, there's all kinds of names coming through. All right, I love you guys to pieces. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, tickle tap, booper zap. If you're interested in making a donation to the channel at this time, greatly, super appreciated right now. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not doing personal readings for the next couple of weeks because I'm moving. And oh my gosh, I just r realized I have less than a week till closing, hopefully. Um, and I haven't even started packing. Mm. <laughs> um, let me know. Are you interested in a membership to the channel where you get just the behind the scenes information? Because I don't want to keep sharing it out here with all the readings. Let me know. All right. I think I'm going to set it up anyways. All right. I love you guys to pieces until our energy crosses again. I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.